Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Last time I showed you how to sync the Sony A7R 3 to the Sony Play Memory app on your smartphone. Today I'm going to do something even better. I'm going to show you how to sync it to your smartphone. And I'm going to show you right now how to do it. Let's get started. As you can see, when I move my camera around the Sony A7R 3 around, the smartwatch is also doing that as well you see and even though the screen is small I like how it is uh, uh, designed from Sony Play Memory app on a smartwatch so as you click on display you can see you can control still the shutter speed the aperture the ISO and then there's that button there for recording a video I can switch it to f uh, photo as well let me just switch that back to photo M as you can see there we go so switch back to photo and I have control of it just like if, as if I have a smart phone. So this is a smartwatch. Now, of course, what you need, now before I get started, is that you need a full-blown uh, Android smartwatch, okay? What I mean by that is this Android watch has to be a uh, real uh, Android 4.4 and up. I believe this uh, smart watch has uh, Android 4.4 uh, in it and so you're able to control the uh, app through the smart watch okay not I'm not talking about the uh, uh, the the small version of the Android watch right not that one I'm talking about an Android that actually uh, works on a regular smartphone and this smart watch actually contains that version of uh, Android OS system okay for 4.4 I think it's a KitKat anyway so you can see if I press the button here for this is set to a, a photo you press and there you go you see you have full control of that pretty amazing and then if I switch it back to let's go back to the um, video and now it's gonna switch to video watch this okay, it takes a while this one takes you know the, the smart watch takes a little maybe about one or two seconds and there we go if I press this button here and now it's recording you can see it's now recording the video amazing right now how do you do that how do you actually install the memory app on this uh, smartwatch well, let me show you now okay so in order to control the Sony a7R 3 or the a7 III or the a9 you need to have the Sony play memory app on your smartwatch to do that you make sure you have the Google Play Store installed already on your smartwatch once you do that you can go to google play store and download the play memory app and that's what it is now the reason you can do all this like i said before this is a true android 4.4 smart watch so just like a smartphone if you have the a true os android os system you can download most of the app so we have now play memory app so download that and then of course turn on your camera and then here what you want to do is go to menu and under the third menu you see the globe there network one go down and go to control with smartphone okay or just you put smartwatch there as well and as you can see make sure you turn on the control with smartphone on always connect it you don't have to turn that on all the time because I didn't turn it on because I didn't want to drain my battery and then there's a connection that's what you want to do connect okay so there we go now you can also use QR code this smartwatch actually have the camera but I find it is very inconsistent what I would recommend you do is get a Bluetooth uh, keyboard sync it with this smartwatch type in the password and we're good to go okay to get the password you just have to and you have to press the um, garbage can you press it on you get the password you type it in with the Bluetooth uh, keyboard okay you just need to do it once now okay on your smart watch what you do need to do next is um make sure okay and i can see this make sure that your wi-fi so you need to load up your wi-fi connect to here you can see the um sony a7r3 it will say direct and then all these letters and it will say 7rm3 for the Sony a7 III would be 7M3, for the A9 would be 
9M3 or something like that. Okay, so it said connected. If it's not connected, you just make sure you press on it and it will, and it will say connected. So when that's done, you just now need to load your uh, Play Memory app. There we go. And you can see, ah, it's now in sync. You see that? Cool, what, huh? And the, the cool thing about this smart watch is that you can wear it, right? And here, of course, you can see the image, live image, actually, on the the camera as well as on the smartwatch and if I want to control the like aperture the uh, shutter speed and the ISO it's all there as well okay so by pressing display here button and you go back and forth you can see the image or you want the control you can control the uh, shutter speed for something so I press shutter speed here you can do the, use the slider to control the shutter speed I mean it's a little bit you know, if you have a big finger, it's harder to do that, but if you have a tiny finger like mine, not a problem. Okay, now to take a picture, just press like that. If you want the video mode on this dial button, you switch to video mode. You see the film icon, you do that. And now you notice here, it shows the uh, video. And by pressing the red dot, that's video mode now. And you can record. There we go, and you can see it's recording. Okay. It's that easy and of course <clears throat> you can actually see what you're recording if you press display and the image comes up and see it even tells you how many minutes how many seconds actually you're recording in minutes I can see it right there it's showing up and it's saying it's recording okay and then press stop there we go it stops and then if you go to display press the display button you can control the shutter speed the uh, aperture and the ISO, right? And even the, uh, the auto balance or the white balance. It's pretty cool. So whatever you can do with the uh, smartphone, you could do with a smartwatch, as long as the smartwatch contains the Android 4.4 and up. All right, so amazing application. Uh, by the way, this um, smartwatch, uh, if you want to get it, it's called a FinFine, F-I-F-I-N-E, W9 smartwatch. I'll provide the link for you or at least the uh, name of it on the video so you can go and search it yourself. Thanks for watching educatetube.com.